In previous videos, we looked at the various stages of the cell cycle. And in this video, we're going to understand how that cell cycle is controlled. And that really involves proteins called cyclins. So we're going to start by writing that a group of proteins called cyclins is used to control the cell cycle. Now remember, we said that the cell cycle included a series of phases, including interphase, which included the G1, S, and G2 phase, and then secondly, cell division, which is obviously mitosis, and cytokinesis, which is when the cell membranes separate to produce two cells. So we're basically ensuring that all these different phases occur at the right time. So cyclins ensure that tasks are performed at the correct time. And that the cell only moves on to the next stage when appropriate. But how do cyclins actually work? Let's write about their method of action. Well, firstly, they need to bind to special enzyme called cyclin-dependent kinases. Now, these cyclin-dependent kinases become active. And what they actually do is they cause the attachment of phosphates to other proteins in the cell. The real importance of this attachment of phosphates is the proteins in question now become active and carry out tasks specific to one of the phases of the cell cycle. So we can see that the correct phase has been initiated. So this triggers proteins to become active and to carry out various tasks of a particular stage in the cell cycle. So in this graph, we're really looking at the four main types of cyclin found in human cells. And we can see how these cyclins rise and fall over the duration of the cell cycle. It's important to notice that these cyclins have to reach what's known as the threshold concentration in order for the cell to progress into the next stage. So let's have a look. In the G1 phase of interphase, we can see that cyclin D is building up. In the S phase, we know that cyclin E has to reach a maximum. G2 phase sees cyclin A reach a maximum. And then lastly, with cyclin B, we know that mitosis will occur. So let's just write a little description. The concentrations of cyclins must reach a threshold concentration in order for the cell to progress into the next stage of the cell cycle. Cyclins control the cell cycle and ensure that cells divide when new cells are needed, but not at other times. Right guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be back soon with another IB A-level video. And um, until then, look after yourselves.